groovy. Hey gang, here's something a bit different for my channel. It's only a bit different because sometimes I do have videos of my dogs and me playing. This little intruder is canine shaped, but he's most certainly not a dog. Before I go too much further, I want to apologize for the general lack of quality in the video, including the grain and the shaky cam. I was in my kitchen when I happened to notice this fella in my yard, so I grabbed the first camera I could, my iPhone 11. Because of the distance involved, I zoomed and cropped into the phone's max, which is six times, and then recorded him through the kitchen window. Therefore, it's soft, filled with glare and grain, and not very steady. The best camera in the world is the one you have on you. Yeah, he's a coyote, and a pretty large one at that, which would imply some sort of cross. Possibly a koi wolf, but I'm not a wildlife expert, so that's just speculation on my part. Later in the video, you'll get to see how chunky and big he is, likely crossing somewhere between 80 and 85 pounds, which is a pretty meaty coyote for this part of the country. Where am I? Well, I won't get into specifics for hopefully obvious reasons, but if we look at the east coast of the US and focus in the general Washington DC area, I've, I live in what's commonly referred to as Northern Virginia. I didn't exactly outline the entirety of Northern Virginia on this map, but you get the general idea. It's very overdeveloped, very heavy populated with lots of housing and lots of traffic. I joke that in Northern Virginia, trees aren't allowed. If you see a tree today, tomorrow it'll be mown down and some sort of house will be built up in its place. Now I'm fortunate enough and that I actually do own a bit of property and some woods to my name in the midst of all this overbuilding. And coyotes aren't un unheard of here. I've seen and heard them over the past 20 years or so that I've lived here. Sometimes I see one, other times I'll see two or three of them together. In every case, the moment they see a human, they bolt, fast. They're not at all a danger to any of us. Perhaps to smaller pets, sure, but not to humans. I feel no need to try and get trappers or hunters or any other such nonsense to handle the coyote population. They're predators, and we need more of those, not fewer of them. Christ, the deer are everywhere, though. I'll keep referring to the coyote as a male, but in actuality, he never really gave me a clear shot and told me one way or the other. As you can likely notice, he's a bit warm. It was in the low 90 degrees uh, Fahrenheit when I recorded this, and humid as all hell. He was trying to cool off in my freshly mown grass. Note how much he's panting. He also has some of his winter coat still attached, which is a bit strange this late in the year, and I'm sure that wasn't helping his comfort level in the least. The sad thing is, he's clearly digging at fleas. Good odds that where there's one coyote, there are several of them. And on top of those odds, it's pretty likely that they're all dealing with fleas. Unfortunately, there's just not much that can realistically be done about that. We also have foxes in the area, and just about every single one of them catches sarcoptic mange. We've treated the foxes for that in the past by leaving treatment-laced raw meat out for them, and it works temporarily. The problem is that the moment they bed down in their dens, the mites come back. So even if there was a way to treat the coyotes, which I understand isn't realistic, mind you, they'd likely be infested with fleas again in short order. Ignoring that parasitic annoyance, he is beautiful, and a definite shock to see in the broad daylight like this. Perhaps the grass in my yard is better cooling factor for him than just laying down in the woods. I started recording him again at one point and tapped on the window to see if he'd react. He just sort of looked toward the window with very little concern, but he was also right near his escape route, the woods. You'll see him walk along the edge of it for a while, biting at the fleas and the flies. Eventually he took off back into the woods and I didn't see him again for the rest of the day. This was recorded about seven o'clock the next morning. My intrepid Labrador, Hercules, has indeed found the spot, or one of the spots, that the coyote was rolling around in the previous day. That's right, little buddy. You're sharing the yard with both your little brother and now something else.